In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down how to lab effectively in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel is designed to basically help you get better at Madden 21. I do that through posting four to five videos a day here on my YouTube channel. I also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Uh, on YouTube. So if you want to kind of stay up to date with all that, I want to encourage you right now to go ahead and click up, uh, click the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. All right, guys, so I got a question and it was a really good question. Um, it's, a, it's a question that I feel like needs to be talked about. Um, this is how to lab. And I want to really go through, um, most of you guys might have purchased, might have picked up my Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook. And I wanted to do a live lab with you of a formation that I've been meaning personally to get a little bit more into. And I just wanted to do it live and kind of show you the process of how to lab, what to look for, what to understand, kind of what you need to know as you go through this. And so uh, first things first, what you want to do is you want to um, come into practice mode with two different controllers. That's one of the first things that you want to do. Um, also, if you haven't picked up my ebook, you can do that in the description below. It's my I have a full ebook out on the Arizona Cardinals offense and the 4-6 defense. Those are the two playbooks I have on screen right now. Okay. So you want to dive in here. Um, one of the things that I want to do is I want to put uh, out of the dollar, I want to put the best guys in that I can put in, you know, for man-to-man -man coverage because man-to-man -man coverage is so good this year. And it's just really important that every play that you have uh, has some ability to beat man. I actually like to start um, practicing against man. And then I will uh, literally in dollar, I'm going to replace my audibles here and I'm going to come out and cover four. Uh, and then I'm also going to bring out cover uh, three cloud if I can find it out of the dollar right there. Cover two press and cover three sky. So now I've got pretty good, um, you know, package here. And then I'm going to bring out the dime and I'll put in the dime package. What I'll do is I'll put in the three double buzz. Uh, maybe I'll put in cover three match or cover four uh, palms as well. So just kind of. Um, enhancing that nickel uh, package as well that you can also do that uh, one of the ways that you can do it is you could come out in 335 and then audible to nickel normal but personally I just like to come out in dollar three two six so come come out and call dollar three two six cover two man okay from there uh, tray open literally I'm going to come out in certain plays that I want to test out now there are formation specific um, concepts like trips, which is which will be three by one or two by two. So, if I come out and tray open, that's an example of a trips formation. There's three receivers to one side, and there's one receiver to another side. If I come out in spread wide flex, it's a two by two formation, which means there's two wide receivers to one side, two wide receivers to the back to the other side. Okay, it's technically strong right because the running backs on the right side of the screen. So tray open, this is three by one. We're going to do some labbing on three by one. So questions that you want to ask is, number one, is this something that I can apply to all three by one formations? Number two, what are the specific routes um, that I am going to be working with? Um, so, for example, in tray open, this route on play stick, it's a very specific route that is also in other plays. So as you start to lab, you're going to figure out that similar routes exist throughout different formations, right? So I'll, I'll show you an example. Um, so spread wide flex, right? I've broken this playbook or this formation down in the ebook and this play specifically stick. You see that route on the right? See that 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 on the far right receiver's route? He's on a little out outside kind of fade pattern. Tray open stick. It's the same route. Okay, so I know that that's probably going to work very similar. So so I'm going to go ahead and put that in my audibles. I want to lab up stick. Another play that I want to lab up is I want to lab up the play, um, these these compression plays here, X drag, I want to lab up mesh, and I want to lab up spacing HB wheel. Now what I can do is I can come out in anything that I want. If I want to lab up maybe PA read, maybe Y sale, you know, you can do whatever you want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and come out in the play PA read, okay? Um, now, other thing is you want to set up your, uh, one thing you want to do when you're labbing a new formation, you always want to cycle through your packages and just see what you are able to do. So you see here, I could put the strong slot package in. I could do wide receiver swap. I could do twin tight end and turn it into an ace set. I could do backup quarterback, and that's pretty much it. So nothing too crazy here in terms of the packages that you can create. So I'm going to go ahead and just sub in, you know, whoever I'd want to have in here, uh, Duvernay, Marquise Brown, 
um, and then uh, Mark Andrews. Uh, actually, I would probably want to have Marquise Brown over here and then uh, do Renee right in here. Okay, so we're going to come out in PA read. Now, first things first is um, you want to lab it on a specific hash. Now, in general, if you're labbing a three by one formation, I recommend starting out labbing it with the trip side on the left hash or um, on the wide side of the field. So, in that case, we're going to put the ball on the left hash. So now we're going to, you know, as a general rule of thumb, right, this isn't every time, but plays do work differently depending on the hash that they are on. Okay, so next thing is next. What I like to do when I'm labbing up a play is I'm just going to take a sack. So literally I'm just going to drop back here, just look at the routes, kind of see what happens, and then I'm going to take a sack. And then what I like to do is I like to go into instant replay. So I'm going to pause the game, go into instant replay, back things up, and I kind of watch how the routes work. So you see here, I watch the play action animation. I watch, I see that that, that linebacker's manned up on him. I'm looking at, you know, what routes get separation against man. You see here, for the most part, nothing really does, uh, with the exception maybe that deep post late. But you see, you know, you got that little, um, that little comeback route. So now what I'll do is I'll just test out. So I'll just throw every route. Um, this route to Duverde. Oh, he's on an out route. So I'll just throw this route, just see. You know, and you see here the out route does work against man to man. Also, I do know that you know most coverages are going to run the shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top meta, and that, as you can see here, now I see. Oh, look at that! Right, that's part of labbing. So by labbing a popular defense, right? So a popular defense that people are going to run is they're going to man to line, they're going to press, they're going to shade coverage outside, and they're going to shade coverage over top. That's going to change how the players play man coverage. You'll see here the out route is, is still open, but not as open. But what you'll see on this play is this deep post route to Marquise Brown. That might get open against the cover two defense. We'll see. Uh, again, this is, cover, um, this is cover two man. So there's two deep blues on the outside. It's really hard to beat this over the top. But as you see right here, uh, Marquise Brown is able to crush cover two man over the top. So this is now, now I know that, oh, look at this. Look at this. Let's go into instant replay and let's figure out what happens. Um, oh, dang it. I did not mean to do that. We'll have to flip it back. But what you'll see here, if we come over here, watch this animation. So we're just going to go through and watch. And you see right here, that's where Marquise Brown, for whatever reason, the trail coverage completely glitches out. And he's able to beat him by like probably a two or three yard step on him. Right, so that's going to be pretty consistent. Now the question is, and if we were really going to be serious in the lab, I would probably grab the Patriots or the Rams and test that out against um, against like Jalen Ramsey. But you'll see here, very consistent. So I can draw back, I can throw this deep post. That's now a really powerful route for me. Because they're going to have to do something very specific on defense to stop this. Okay, and what they're going to have to do and let's see if I have the Arizona. I don't think I have the Arizona playbook here, so we'll have to flip flip uh, the sides back. What they're going to have to do, or what that means that they're going to have to do, is they're going to have to um, you know, do some other things uh, with this. So here we'll just throw it away and get the ball back on offensive side. So does that make sense so far? Um, guys, also, one of the best ways to lab is to learn from others. If you haven't jumped in the Discord yet, I want to encourage you to go ahead and do that. Um, that's a great resource. The link to join that is in the description of this video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into coaching adjustments. I'm going to drop the curl flats back to 25 yards. That's what everybody likes to do. And then here, I'm going to leave these as is. Uh, and then I'm going to go back into dollar, three, two, six, cover two men. And now one of the other things that you want to you want to check from time to time is I'll just flip the play because what I want to see is, can is it a speed situation? Is it a matter of the fact that Marquise Brown is just 97 speed? Is that why he's able to beat him so, so much? And we'll watch. We'll go through. We'll watch here. And you'll see that even Duvernay, I mean, he kind of beats him, beats his guy by a, by a decent amount. So what that tells me is with a good receiver, that route's going to get open deep against man-to-man. -man. Now, let's test it against man-press, and you'll see that press man, um, he's still going to get over top of him, and he can get that over-shoulder swerve catch animation that you like. So that tells me that this is a pretty good, pretty solid um, little cover two beater uh, on the route. You'll see here against cover two, it's going to be even more effective. Um, 
me see if I can show you this. Now, one thing you do want to do from when you uh, are labbing this against covered shells, be sure to spy defensive linemen if they're giving you issues. Practice mode notoriously has really, really big problems with the anim or, um, with the lineman sheds. So that's cover two. So I know it now beats cover two. I know it beats cover uh, cover two man. The question is, does it beat like Tampa two? It probably won't. Like if I drop that middle linebacker on the deep blue, he's probably going to get back. But look how, if that's a fast wide receiver, like that's a safety he's beating. That's a pretty good route. So notice how, you know, I've, I've gone through multiple stages of this play. Now that the check-in point is cover three. Now, I highly doubt this is going to work against cover three, but we'll take a look at it and see. So if I throw it up, you see that deep safety's there. And now, you know, Marquis, barring a spectacular catch, you know, Marquise Brown's going to be, you know, SLL. One other thing you want to do is try smart routing every route. So see what routes you can smart route, what routes you can't. And you'll see when you smart route routes, it does make them run a little bit differently. Uh, depending on things you see here it's going to make him run a little bit more angled so that could be something as well notice how marquise brown runs a little bit more angled so now that's a whole new concept as well so now i'm going to check against cover three okay well what if 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 i take you know marquise brown and i run him on an angled more of a sloped let's see if that can get over the top of the cover three and beat it all the way to the left side you see here it can and now we have a cover three beater right now we're going to check, okay, well, that's cover three, that's cover two, uh, and he's been able to get over the top of every coverage that they've ran. Let's see if he can get over the top of the cover four. Step up in the pocket, and now look at that. Uh-oh, we just found a little something something out of PA Reed. Live lab sessions, guys. This is now I've never ran this play before, but PA Reed, as you're seeing, that route to Brown, when you smart route it, good Lord, help you. Help you in any defense. Look at the consistency. Look at the consistency of that route. Pretty solid so far. So it beats cover three. It beats cover two. It beats cover one. And let's check cover two real quick. We haven't checked cover two uh, with the deep blue. So let's check cover two with the deep blue. If we smart route the route, does it beat it? Let's see. Step up in the pocket. Throw it up. And you see here, he doesn't quite beat the cover two. But... But actually, he kind of does, um, and we'll show you why here in just a second. So I'm going to go cover two, and I'm just going to take that guy in the deep third, put him in the deep third. Now watch the safety on the left. See how the safety kind of pans out to the left? That's going to allow a window. That is going to then allow a window. Now let's just give ourselves some time in the pocket. Make sure I smart route this route to Brown. Snap of the ball. Click on. And now, again, I'm just going to lob it over the top and let Brown go get it. You see here he's not going to be able to do it. Thompson's got the speed. He's able to get back on the ball. So I know that I can't I can't do that. But I do also know, I do also know, guys, that if, if I know they're running cover two and I leave Brown on this route right here, he's going to get over top of that cover two. Uh, not quite. Maybe if they pass commit. So now I know, okay, now I got to check some things out. Now I got to see this causes me to readapt, readjust, right? So how do I get that route open? So now I'll try some other things, right? Maybe it's blocking the running back to give myself a little bit extra time. And you'll see here he's going to get over that, throw it up. And you see that that Tampa 2 kind of cover 3 shell is going to take away a lot of the deep glitch. But it's going to open up other things for your offense. You know, so if they're running cover two, so now what I've got to do is I've got to figure out some way to work this. Well, one of the ways that I'm thinking right off the top of my head is just a smart routed hitch route to Thomas. It's going to create a little curl flat read. You see here, J.K. Dobbins is going to be able to get open against that against cover two. Now you have now you have decent options. Now I also am fully aware, okay, and I do want you to know this. I am fully aware of the fact that these crossing routes, these underneath routes. They're going to get open against cover two. You see, that's man-to-man -man against Honey Badger, um, and he's not able to stop it. So, you know, next coverage we want to check. We just want to check the cover three cloud here. And uh, remember, we like to smart route that route to Brown. And we'll just test cover three cloud. Once he gets over the safety, 
You see that right there? He's able to get over that safety, and he's going to beat the cover three cloud very, very easily. Now the question is, so let me show you the play art here. This is what a cover three cloud looks like. So you have a deep third here, here, and then a deep middle here. Okay, So that's cover three cloud in a nutshell. So basically what I'm looking at is can I fit this deep, you see that right there? And Marquise Brown's able to get open. So now this, now what I've learned through this is this is one of the best routes in the game. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a deeper, um, it's better than Z spot actually, because if they run man coverage, like it's a touchdown. If they if they run man coverage on this and they don't, the other thing that you have to understand about this is you have to factor in the user, right? You have to factor in the user. So what is the user likely going to cover? Well, in my opinion, the user is likely going to cover these underneath middle routes, right? If they don't, if they go cover Brown, then you can hit these underneath crossing routes. You can hit all these underneath routes, you know, fairly well. If they go to guard Brown over the top, you know, and there's just nothing, there's not much they can do. Um, besides, they're going to literally have to play man up three deep to be able to stop this route right here. Look at the separation he's getting against man to man. When they shade coverage outside, Marquise Brown's roasting a 92 speed corn, right? Now, again, if that's Stephon Gilmore, you know, we haven't tested that. You would want to bring Stephon Gilmore in and check it, but I guarantee you he's probably going to beat him. So now I know those are some things that I know now. Now what I need to do is I need to check what routes can I change. So one thing I'll try to do is just put the running back on an option route and see what happens. Does the play still work the same? And the answer is yes, it does. Right. Now what I want to check is I'll look at the cover two. And what I'm trying to figure out is, what if I take, what if I take um, Thomas and what if I put him on like a little flat or a little out route, a little out route here? You'll see if I motion Brown across. You see that's one other thing you do want to do is you always want to motion your players and just just test the routes in motion. So like if I motion snap Brown right here. What happens? How does that how does that play? And you just do this over and over again, and I'm telling you, it does. And you see, it doesn't work very well, okay? But you just do this and run through your formations. These are subtle things. So, for example, uh, what happens? You see here that I can motion Mark Andrews to the right. So, what happens when I do that? Um, if I motion him to the right, what does he do? Well, you see here, he does nothing. What about Thomas? If I motion him to the right, you see he stacks here. Notice that right there. So now that might be a significant change. So now I'm going to go through and, and test it out again against all coverages. And you just do this over and over. It's honestly, guys, it's very relaxing. It's one of the most fun things to do in Madden, in my opinion. I want to do more of these types of videos if this is something that helps you. Uh, I'd like to almost start a series like Formation Labs of the Week, maybe even live stream this. But to me, this is a lot of fun um, because it just allows you to play Madden like you probably never played it before. You know, and you learn little little intricate details that you wouldn't learn prior without doing this. You go on instant replay, you're testing, you're tinkering, right? So, like, for example, one of the things you might want to do is I know that a lot of people are running cover through cloud, right? I know that. So what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try to make some coverage adjustments out of cover through cloud. So, like, what happens when I play Mabel coverage on both sides of the field? Right, maybe something like this. Right here, just like this. Right. And then maybe I have a three reg, you know, just just test it out. See what happens. Now the middle linebacker's in a deep third. Does that how does that change everything about the play? Because it will. I tr tr I promise you it will. I actually really like to stack this corner right here, this little slot player. So we come out. And now we see, oh, this has changed everything. It's actually made this route much, much more uh, beneficial against a cover three cloud. So now I know if I'm running against someone that's running something like this, this is a really good effective way to beat it. Um, another thing you want to test out is how does this play to the opposite side hash? Because I, I promise you the zones will play a little bit different depending on the hash you're on. So let's say they come out, let's say they come out in cover two. Okay, let's just say 
let's just say they come out in cover two. Okay, so he's coming out in cover two, and now let's test. Let's just let's just test this out. Same exact setup. Everything's the same. We're just running this against cover two. And good old throw out a sack. That's why I say, you know, I don't, I personally, you, you almost want to put backups in. I'd almost like to take, take the sliders and practice one and just take the pass rush away because um, it really does affect things. But we're just going to take the pass because they just get super shedded. Um, another thing that you want to check, um, let's, see, let's get out of here. Let's go back to PA Reed. And we're just going to block the running back. Now you can, you know, there's other things you can do with the running back too. Um, I actually think motioning the running back to the right here would be really effective um, because it's going to pull those zones. But let's just check check cover two. And you look at look at how open that is. Like look at how open that is. So now I know, oh, okay. This now works against cover two. Now the way they stopped it prior, and this is what you want to test. So I know that the one coverage that I had trouble with was when they would basically max um, cover out of cover two, put the middle linebacker in a deep third. So let's just test that out now. So we'll try it. Okay, we're going to move the running back over here. And now let's just see how this coverage plays. And look, he kind of gets over to the top, but not really. Um, I think there's a little bit of a window to throw it. And, and really the way to test this out, you pause the game, Instant replay, and now we're going to look at the coverage shell. And we're going to say, okay, well, here's the coverage shell. Let's just watch. And let's just get back here. This is all 22 footage, right? This is real NFL stuff, right? Look at the safety. Look where the safety's playing. Snap of the ball. Let's come back here. See, he's going to drop fade out. Now, look where, look at look at who he's looking at. You see, they're all watching the quarterback because it's in zone. So if I, if I am trying to look at this pocket right here, now look at this post route coming open. You see that this guy has the leverage, so he's going to be able to take the post away. The question is, because he's going straight to the middle of the field, look at the step. You see the step that Marquise Brown has on this guy? And look at the safety. This safety is completely out of the play. There's nothing he can do. So now what I want to do is I want to test, okay, instead of bullet passing, right, test your different pass trajectories. So instead of, instead of bullet passing, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to lob pass it at that specific point, at that specific point. So I'm going to watch that middle third, middle linebacker, right? See him right there but as he's turning his hips around and see, okay, I can't beat it. There's, there, You see there's not a window. Now, the question might be, well, what happens when I smart route it, right? What happens when I throw it a little bit sooner? So before, before he turns his hips, so right about there. And you see, oh, nope, he's got a lot of leverage. There's no way, there's no window. So now, okay, well, I can't throw it early. Can I throw it late? Let's try that. And you just try things. And it's it's so, it's such an enjoyable thing, guys. Um, I'm telling you, if, if you guys are interested in really getting deep with this, this is why personal coaching sessions are so effective, uh, in my opinion, because you're just going to pick up on little, little details that you probably wouldn't before have seen. But see right there, it gets over the top. Click on, I almost got it over the top there. A lot of it, and, and, and here's one thing that I do want you to know. On this specific play, this, this you go in instant replay, and you, you have to identify who are the problems that I'm, what are the problems that I'm trying to solve, right? So right in this situation, this linebacker is the only player on the field that can make a play on this. He's the only player. But look, right in this pocket right here, I've, I've got him beat. I've won. If I throw the ball, now now you're going to calculate it. Okay, so he's here at the snap, and when he's going to get back to about 10 yards deep, right? Right when the run, right in this window. If I throw the ball right here, that's probably a touchdown. Because, look, there's no one to get there. So now I know, okay, well, let's try that out. And you, you come back in, same exact setup. And again, part of labbing is controlling the variables, understanding that. So we're just going to block the running back. One other thing that I want you to think about too is how could I, one other thing that I have to try, how could I get the middle third to come down? What route could I do that might be able to do that? And we're going to look at that here in just a second, but I just want to try this out and see right in here. Nope, I can't get it there. Okay. We'll try one more time. And then if it doesn't work this time, then what we're going to do is we're going to um, 
shift gears a little bit and try to figure out how can we get that that middle third to come down. What route could we do? Is there a route we could do to get to get that middle third to come down on something? And you see here, okay, he's able to get in front. Okay, no problem. Let's go to another, let's switch gears a little bit. So now we're going to try things. Um, and not everything's going to work. I can promise you that. But what we're basically trying to do is we're trying to get this, this zone held. Now, the best way to get zones to pull down are typically to have a 5 to 10 yard something. A 5 to 10 yard curl, a 5 to 10 yard hook zone or um, hook route, a 5 to 10 yard in route, out route, whatever. But I think it needs to come from the left side of the screen. So now, okay, well, let's try this. Let's try putting the running back on a curl and let's just see, right? Let's just see because we don't really have a running back route. Let's just watch that middle third. You see that he kind of holds there a little bit longer and we'll try this out again. And it's okay. You're going to throw picks in practice more. Throw picks in practice more is no big deal, right? No big deal. What we're trying to do is see the adjustments. So one thing that I can do is I can take my running back. Let's just try this. I don't know if this is going to work, but if I put my running back on a streak, let's just try this. Let's see if it goes. See how that right there? Ah, a little bit, little bit, little bit too much. Okay. No problem. We're going to keep working through this. We're going to keep working through this. That's the key to labbing. The key to labbing, in my opinion. Okay, so if the deep third comes from the left or right, that's also going to, you know, if I, if I come from Watts here, you know, that's going to matter. So let's just try this. And let's put the running back on a curl, smart routed. Snap of the ball. Watch. Does he hold? Nope, he bails over the top. But look, Marquise Brown beats him. So maybe that curl route is holding him for just long enough. I don't know. But we're going to try that again. And let's put the curl route out there to the running back. Make sure we smart route Marquise Brown's route. Keep all the variables the same. We're just changing one route. And nope, not able to get it to him. Okay. So the curl route doesn't work. And, and honestly, guys, maybe no route will work. I don't know. I don't, you know, it is what it is. But this is part of the labbing process, right? This is the labbing process. One other thing you might try to do is let's let's see what happens if you slant. Let's let's try slanting the, the, the tight end here. Maybe put an option route out to the back here. Let's try those two things here. Smart route, Marquise Brown. See that movement? So that was huge. Um... So that was huge. That was a big deal. Even though he even though he still came back on the ball, that was a significant discovery. Let me show you this in instant replay. Watch. This is this is little little details that come with labbing to me that make such a big such a huge importance. So, instant replay, we're going to go in. Okay? And we are going to look. Watch this guy. Watch his move. You see that little movement right there? Watch. See his eyes? His eyes shifted from the quarterback to a specific player right there. He's looking at the slant route. You notice that? It's a little bitty detail, but look, it takes that false step. And now you might be able to get this in there. So now I'm going to go through. Okay, that's cool. And we are going to test this out. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to block the right. I'm going to, I'm going to wheel the running back and just see. Um, we're going to go to cover two. Throw him in the back. We're gonna we're we're um, pass giving in here. What I want to see is if the running back. I almost want to put the running back on a streak, but let's just see what happens here. We're gonna keep that slant out there, and we're gonna keep everything the same, and just see. He takes the false step. He is able to get back there, but he does take a false step. That is important to understand. So now what I've got to do is get him to hold. One way that I might be able to do that. One way that I might be able to do that is through taking my left side guy and putting him on a slant. Let's try that. Because the deep blue is coming from the left side guy. So let's just see if that works. Snap the ball. And he held for a little bit. He held for a little bit there. One other thing, let's try... We're just trying to get him to hold. There he held. 
There he held by a hot. Look at that. There he held. There he held by a hot shot. So now what we've got to do is we go into instant replay and we're going to try to figure out what specific route held him back. What specific route held him back? Who was he looking at? Who was the issue for him? Watch his eyes. See right here. Look who he's looking at. He's looking left and he's looking at 16. So it looks to me like this in route might be the key. So that informs me. So one thing I might do now is take um, take this route right here, motion him to the left. Um, or I'm sorry, motion him to the right, maybe. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't want to motion him left. Let's reset the play. So let's let's try to get Thomas. You're seeing the in route is what's giving him a trick. So let's try now putting Andrews on an in route and putting Thomas on this route right here, maybe motioning him one way or the other. You see that his motion does change depending on the hash he's on. That's a little quick tip too. But the middle linebacker's coming here. So we've got the in route there, and we're gonna take an op we're gonna put a little option route out here. Make sure we've smart routed Marquise Brown, snapping the ball. And let's see. And that time, I think it was just maybe a fluke. Sometimes when you reset the play multiple times, it's a little bit of a fluke. But you see all these little details, right? This this is what labbing is. Um, if you have questions about this, you can always text me. My number is 812-216-3644. So I'm going to take Andrews, just put him on a little smart route in route. And let's just see if we can get that, that deep blue to hold. There he held. Get Marquise Brown over the top. And there you go. Now we're able to burn... Tampa 2, right? Just with that little adjustment. Now, one thing I also realized is, well, what if I, um, what if I take my running back, put him on a smart route at option route, you know, and all these little things you can do off this, but watch. Now we're messing with this. See, see him help, see him hold. Like that's, that's what's key. Now, if you're trying to beat cover two, this is just a quick tip. If you're trying to beat cover two from this, what I would recommend you do is leave Marquise Brown on his stock deep route. That's going to do a better job against cover two, honestly. Um, and if I motion Andrews left, let's see what happens here. So you go to a tight end position. So now if I turn this into a two by two set, let's watch. Let's just see what happens. Turn it into a two by two set. Watch that deep. See, him, see how he's looking at that curl route? And you're able to get that over the top. That's pretty significant to me. But, you know, that's that's a no, whole other thing for another day. But what you're seeing here is if you take, if you leave him on his route deep, you might not even have to do anything to this play. You might literally just be able to beat it. See that? See how he gets over top of him? And, again, you, you want to get him. You want the receiver to get over, give the receiver time to get over the top. That to me is really important. So, you know, throwing this at the right time is also very, very pivotal to me. But I would put Andrews on a slant, honestly. I think slant's going to hold him a little bit better. See, he holds. And then uh, that time he got back on me. But. You know, and you can still work the middle of the field, but this is just, you know, this is just the next level. How do you turn these things into one-play scores? To me, this is one way you can do it. But this fi the final product of this play, you know, is very, very significant. You don't even have to do anything, honestly, uh, to this. But one of the things that you might do is just double hit a hitch. These hitches will hold him. Let him get over the top of him right there. And Marquise Brown. You know, if you have a faster receiver like a, a Tyreek or something, you're going to be able to get over even better. But all in all, this is going to do the best against it, this cover, you know, kind of thing here. One thing we haven't talked about is what if you put this receiver on a hitch, watch that left deep half. It's going to kind of come out of the play, and you might be able to get it over the top of there. If you run a simple route combination, this is another, you know, part of labbing is you learn these different route combos. But basically, if I just ran an all curl concept on the right with this little hitch, little um, 
little smoke screen route on the left side. What you'll see here is this should, because we're on this side of the field, this left, this hash, we should be able to, that, that left side guy is going to kind of glitch out. He's going to go in the middle of the field, and I think they might have patched this, but you'll see here you can playmaker that up. But those are some, you know, just subtle things. But that's kind of how you lab, honestly. I mean, that's how you lab passing plays. You know, you run it against everything under the sun, and what you're going to find is, you know, certain plays is going to work better against. So, like, if I just ran two curls, you know, just just ch just testing this out, right? But if I ran two curls, maybe I'm maybe my deep blues coming from that right hash guy, you know, because maybe they're wanting to use her the left side. Snap of the ball, two curls. Look at that. Look, watch how see how significant that holds that deep blue. I mean, it almost it, it literally almost takes it out of the completely out of the thing. So you know that's something as well. And then you know you also want to understand what if they base the line. What if they man a line? What if they have auto? You know, those are all little things that you're going to have to kind of work through when you're labbing. But it's a really, really rewarding um, experience. Really fun, and relaxing to me because you'll see here. I mean, this thing is going to torch the cover two um, for the most part on the right hash. If they run, if they run the deep third from the right side as opposed to from the left side, um, they're going to run into a lot of issues because these curl routes and and what i'm starting to see here is curl routes are the best way to hold right they're the best route to hold these deep blues so if i put that running back on a curl you see here you know in that that part he, he did go back but anyway guys though that's kind of how you lab i mean that's that's how i lab my passing offenses um, it's how I put together the Arizona ebook. If you want to pick up the ebook, you know you can do that as well. We'll show you how to lab defense as well uh, in this series. But let me know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Th these are videos I really enjoy doing, uh, kind of getting into the little intricate details of things. Um, I know they're a little bit longer, but I think they can help you. So uh, it, it helps me honestly um, being able to learn the ins and outs of these game uh, of this game. So thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. We're gonna be streaming tonight at ten. Uh, we might jump into it, do a little live lab tonight on stream for everybody. Um, it might be fun to just kind of practice. You know, it's very relaxing to me to lab. So just a lot of fun. I think it's very helpful too. Uh, but let me know what you thought. If you want to see more of this, you know, shoot me a text. Let me know what you thought of the video. I really appreciate it. My number is 812-216-3644. Again, if you want to get the ebook, it's the finalized product of a lot of labbing. Um, it's the full Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook as well as the 46 uh, defense playbook. So it's all the formations in those playbooks. That's what you get when you pick up those playbooks. So thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you tonight on stream, 10 o'clock. See ya.